growth is often referred growth is often referred as increase in increase in size 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 or weight size or weight of a cell size or weight of a cell or organ that is called the growth and we have already understood in the first chapter when we started this syllabus that the growth and note it down the growth in living is always intrinsic growth in living is always intrinsic that intrinsic mean it always comes from inside so this is intrinsic means it always comes from outside Co sorry come from inside extrinsic means that is a come from outside so in growth like uh, suppose that uh, if we are growing then our mass is growing from inside our bones are growing from inside so that is called intrinsic growth but in non living the growth is extrinsic like that takes place due to the deposition of material from their in their outer surface right so that is extrinsic growth so so now uh, if phases of growth growth phases so let's study the phase of growth so there are basically uh, three phases of growth phases of growth so the first phase of growth so def actually we divide it in three phases formative phase enlargement and differentiation right so first phase is put the heading formative phase formative phase so this is also called cell formation or cell division this is this stage is also called cell formation so here the formation of new part takes place basically it takes place in meristematic part so cell formation or cell division start coding now it occurs it occurs at root and shoot apex it occurs at root and shoot apex and the other reason other reason having other reason having meristematic other reason having meristematic tissue other reason having meristematic tissue right so that is called formative phase and the second phase that is called phase of enlargement here the size of the uh, size of the cell increases right volume and mass of the cell increases that is called uh, enlargement phase of enlargement so second phase is phase of enlargement and phase of enlargement we so start noting now the newly formed cell produced in formative phase undergo undergo cell enlargement undergo cell enlargement Let's stop. Cell shows. Cell shows enlarging by developing. By developing central vacuole. 
by developing central vacuole growth due to cell enlargement growth due to cell enlargement is very high first of you can take example as cell of watermelon increases cell of watermelon increases 350000 times right this is also called this is also called phase of elongation we also call it this phase phase of elongation phase of elongation right so this is the phase of enlargement right now last one <coughs> sorry that is called phase of differentiation or maturation phase of and differentiation and maturation <clears throat> the enlarged cell develop into enlarged cell develop into a special or the enlarged cell develop into a special or particular type of cell by undergoing a structural and undergoing a structural and physiological differentiation physiological differentiation right shall take shall take a particular size shape while in physiological differentiation in physiological differentiation in physiological differentiation it opt a particular function it opt a particular function right so this was the phases of different phases of growth right and uh, now we can see uh, like uh, we can have a graph of uh, growth curve right so the next thing is growth curve right so what is actually growth curve growth curve is that uh, we plot the phase of the growth on a plotting line it's just this very simple kind of thing so when we make a growth curve so this is a uh, like a uh, graph where uh, in this graph we can show for example uh, this this axis is showing the growth of oh, this we always show time in this axis time so
this is the growth curve right look this part of the graph graph it shows the lag phase lag phase right this part shows log phase and or uh, here and log phase this called decelerating phase means decrease in the growth this part decelerating phase and then this is the stationary phase in lag phase the growth is very slow very slow growth at in initial stage when the plant start or seed start germinating the growth is very slow then log phase the growth is very fast steep graph right in uh, differentiate decelerating phase then the growth rate start decreasing and in stationary phase the growth rate become stable right so that is the called actually um, uh, growth curve so note it down it is the it is the graphical representation of it is the graphical representation of total growth against time it is the graphical representation of total growth this is the graphical representation of total growth against time full stop the period in which growth takes place the period in which growth takes place has been called has been called grand period of growth grand period of growth and the total total growth is plotted total growth is plotted in s shape s shape or sigmoid curve or sigmoid curve right so this was something about the growth phase uh, by the way this is not that much uh, important isse zyada question question kuch nahi puche jane wale but still main aapko bata deta hu hai na अच्छा एक बात और आप लोग बताओ कि आ, अच्छा एक चीज और क्या चाहिए ठीक है कंडीशन फॉर ग्रोथ ये भी एक चीज नोट कर लीजिए कंडीशन फॉर ग्रोथ किसी भी ग्रोथ के लिए क्या क्या कंडीशन होनी चाहिए इसी के नीचे आप हेडिंग डाल लीजिए इट्स वेरी सिंपल कंडीशन फॉर ग्रोथ तो ग्रोथ के लिए क्या क्या कंडीशन होनी चाहिए है ना तो सबसे पहला न्यूट्रिएंट न्यूट्रिएंट है ना तो दे रिक्वायर न्यूट्रिएंट बिकॉज सेंसेस दे आर दे सेंसेस दे आर दे रॉ मटेरियल फॉर द सेंसेस ऑफ न्यू मास सेकंड वाटर होना चाहिए है ना द थर्ड पार्ट ऑक्सीजन इज रिक्वायर्ड बिना इसके रेस्पिरेशन नहीं हो सकता एनर्जी जनरेट नहीं हो सकती तो ऑक्सीजन होना चाहिए फोर्थ नंबर पर आता है दैट इज लाइट होनी चाहिए फोटोसेंसिस करने के लिए है ना लाइट होनी चाहिए और फिफ्थ इज दैट इज द टेम्परेचर टेम्परेचर ठीक है और सिक्स थिंग ग्रेविटी होनी चाहिए 
तभी तो रूट ग्रेविटी की तरफ जाएगा और शूट ऊपर की तरफ जाएगा है ना तो सिक्स वन इज ग्रेविटी राइट तो ये मेजर फैक्टर हैं विच इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द ग्रोथ नोट कर लो ग्रेविटी डिटरमाइन दी डायरेक्शन अगर आपको कोई कंफ्यूजन हो तो यहां पे नोट्स कर सकते हैं इट डिटरमाइन डायरेक्शन तो ग्रेविटी डायरेक्शन डिटरमाइन करती है प्लांट की है ना शूट ऊपर की तरफ ले जाती है और रूट को नीचे की तरफ लेकर के आती है ये मेजर फैक्टर थे नोट कर लिया yes. अच्छा अब एक बात बताओ कि डिड यू रिमेम्बर द टर्म विच वी स्टडीड इन दिस पार्ट टेल साइकिल में हम लोगों ने एक चीज पढ़ा था कि डिफ्रेंशिएशन डी डिफ्रेंशिएशन रे डिफ्रेंशिएशन याद है कि नहीं याद है डिफ्रेंशिएशन डी डिफ्रेंशिएशन रे डिफ्रेंशिएशन डू रिमेम्बर और नॉट बोलो जल्दी भाई हाँ नाम है जल्दी से बताओ चलो अच्छा मैं बता देता हूँ एक बार तो हेडिंग डाल देता हूँ देखो इसमें क्या होता है मेरी बात को ध्यान से समझना तो पहले क्या होता है एग्जाम्पल के तौर पे कोई भी मेरिस्टमेटिक सेल है है ना मेरिस्टमेटिक का मतलब होता है कि वो सेल डिवाइड करेगी तभी हम उस सेल्स को क्या बोलते हैं मेरिस्टमेटिक सेल है तो मेरिस्टमेटिक सेल पहले क्या करेगी डिवाइड करेगी ना और डिवाइड करके एक सेल दो सेल में कन्वर्ट कर तो इस तरह से एक सेल दो सेल में कैसे भी डिवाइड करके कन्वर्ट हो गई है ना और इसमेटिक सेल डिवाइड ही डिवाइड होने के बाद इसका क्या होगा इसमें ये डिवाइड करेगी और डिवाइड करने के बाद ग्रोथ करेगी ग्रोथ करने के बाद क्या होगा ये कोई ना कोई काम करना शुरू कर देगी इट विल ऑप्ट अ पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन It will opt a particular function. और दूसरी चीज क्या होगा It stop dividing. है ना तो कोई काम करने लगती है ऑप पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन और डिवाइड करना बंद कर देती ठीक है इस प्रोसेस को हम लोग क्या बोलते हैं इस प्रोसेस को हम बोलते हैं डिफ्रेंशिएशन तो सबसे पहले क्या चीज होती है सबसे पहले जो चीज हुई दैट इज जो सबसे पहले चीज हुई दैट इज डिवीजन डिवीजन के बाद क्या हुआ डिफ्रेंशिएशन तो एग्जांपल के तौर पे कोई भी पर्टिकुलर सेल बन गई है ना मान लेते हैं कि एग्जांपल के तौर पे ये पैरन काइमा सेल बन गई पैरन काइमा तो बन गई पैरन काइमा सेल अब क्या होगा दोबारा से क्या हुआ कि ये किसी तरह की लाइक like, ग्रोथ करना है इसको जैसे सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ होती है लाइक ग्रोथ सेकेंडरी ग्रोथ है ना या फिर क्या करना है रिपेयर करना है रिजेनरेट होना है है ना ग्रोथ रिपेयर रिजेनरेट ठीक है तो जब ये इस तरह के काम करेगी है ना तो अब क्या होगा ये फिर से दोबारा से अपनी कैपेसिटी को गेन कर लेगी है ना इट विल अगेन बिकम मैरिस्टमेटिक तो जिस सेल ने डिवाइड करना बंद कर दिया था वो फिर से क्या हो गई मैरिस्टमेटिक हो गई दोबारा से उसने अपनी पुरानी कैपेबिलिटी को अटेन कर लिया और इट स्टार्टेड डिवाइडिंग इसने डिवाइड करना शुरू कर दिया 
अब ये फेयर सेल फिर से डिवाइड करना है ठीक है हम इस प्रोसेस को क्या बोलेंगे अब डिफरेंशिएशन का उल्टा हुआ तो हम कहेंगे क्या है ये डी डिफरेंशिएशन तो हम इस प्रोसेस को डी डिफरेंशिएशन क्या मतलब पहले सेल डिवाइड करना बंद कर दिया कुछ काम ऑफ कर लिया तो दोबारा फिर से तो मेरी से क्या बन गई परमानेंट सेल बन गई है ना जैसे पैरिकाइमा सेल इसको हम लोग क्या बोलेंगे परमानेंट सेल बन गई ठीक है स्टॉप डिवाइडिंग एंड बिकम परमानेंट सेल तो इसको हम लोग डी डिफरेंशिएशन कहेंगे उसके बाद क्या हुआ ये फिर से डिवाइड करेगी अगेन डिवाइड और डिवाइड करने के बाद फिर क्या करेगी इसमें दोबारा से है ना फिर से फिर स्टॉप डिवाइडिंग ठीक है गेट पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन फिर से कोई काम ऑप्ट कर लेगी गेट पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन है ना तो हम लोग इस प्रोसेस को क्या बोलेंगे अब इसको हम लोग क्या बोलेंगे दोबारा से डिफ्रेंशिएशन हो गए रिडिफ्रेंशिएट रिडिफ्रेंशिएट क्या मेरी बात आपको समझ में आ गई इज इट क्लियर तो पहला टर्म मैंने आपको बताया डिवीजन होता है फिर दूसरा क्या हुआ डिफरेंशिएशन होता है जब कोई सेल अपना काम कर ऑप्ट कर लेती है कुछ पर्टिकुलर फंक्शन ऑप्ट कर लेती है और डिवाइड करना बंद फिर जरूरत पड़ने पर जब दोबारा डिवाइड करती है तो उसको हम डी डिफ्रेंशिएशन बोलते हैं और फिर जब दोबारा से डिवाइड करके फिर से डिफ्रेंशिएट होती है तो हम उसको क्या बोलते हैं नोट करिए उसको फिर लिखवा देता हूँ इज इट क्लियर मैथ्यू हिबा क्लियर यस सर तो आप ये ऐसे स्केमेटिक डायग्राम बना लो फिर मैं लिखवा देता हूँ Let me know when you note it down. One second. Done, sir. ओके तो प्लीज नोट इट डाउन स्टार्ट नोटिंग ग्रोथ इज एसोसिएटेड विथ डिफरेंशिएशन ग्रोथ इज एसोसिएटेड विथ डिफरेंशिएशन प्लस टॉप डिफरेंशिएशन इज डिफरेंशिएशन इज परमानेंट 
differentiation is a permanent qualitative change permanent qualitative change in size size structure and function of tissue of tissue or organ of tissue or organ the exact trigger for differentiation in no is not known right next uh d differentiation the process of the process of uh Uh, d specialization the process of d specialization of differentiated cell so that the process of d specialization of differentiated cell so that they become undifferentiated so that they become undifferentiated and get ability to divide and get ability to divide is known as differentiation is known as d differentiation is known as d differentiation full stop it involve activation of certain genes it involve activation of certain gene which not only reverse differentiation which not only reverse differentiation but also but also stimulate but also stimulate cell division right now start uh, put the heading redifferentiation uh when when a d differentiated cell again divide and produces produces new cells which get differentiated which get differentiated the process is called the process is called redifferentiation now next thing is that is the definition of what is the development can you tell me what is the development any one of you what is development growth of something growth of something that is development 
noted down. Development is the sequence of event that occur in sequence of event that occur in life history of a cell life history of a cell organ or organism life history of a cell organ or organism which include which include seed germination growth seed germination growth differentiation maturation flowering seed formation flowering seed formation and senescence and senescence right so from birth to death the complete whole life history is called development clear one more important thing what is the plasticity what is the plasticity what is plasticity The so changing like it's right right if anything changes uh, according to uh, change in environment for the adaptation that is called plasticity right so the same plant have different type of the leaf in uh, different if if they are found in different area that is called plasticity i'll show you a diagram if i had so this is heterophily like different type of the leaves uh look uh, when th this is the example of coriander so when coriander leaves are like at jualine stage the shape of coriander leaves are like this one right so at in adult coriander the leaf changes like at jualine stage like this one adult like this one if they are found in terrestrial habitat right in land they have this kind of the shape if they are present in water habitat they have this kind of the shape so shape of the leaf changes on the basis of their stages uh, and they, like same plant different kind of the leaf this is called heterospory right heterospory and uh, like uh, first thing and uh, heterospory is the example of plasticity Uh, they changing uh, in the shape on the basis of their age on the basis of their habitat right this is called plasticity so please note it down the ability to change under the influence of ability to change under the influence of internal or external stimuli internal or external stimuli is called plasticity let's talk intrinsic plasticity is found in intrinsic plasticity is found in jualine stage of many plant intrinsic plasticity is found in jualine stage of many plant example coriander
put the heading in plasticity under the plasticity, put the subheading heterophily. The occurrence of different type of leaf, occurrence of different type of leaves on the same plant habitually on the same plant habitually in different area in different area growth phase or under different environmental or under different environmental condition. This is the heterophily, right? And uh, this was the plasticity. Now, now the, come to the main point. Actually, the main important point, the part of this chapter is plant growth regulator. Means directly we can call them plant hormone. That is the important thing. That will be important for your school exam, but school examination, they can ask you plasticity, they can ask you heterophily, all that. But what is the important for us? That is the uh, PGR. Start noting now. So plant growth regulator means plant hormone or phytohormone. They all are the same. Same thing. If you are uh, asking about the plant growth regulator, it means we are talking about the plant hormone. Or you can also use the term phytohormone because phyto means plant. You can also call them phyto. So plant growth regulator or plant hormone, they are also called phytohormone. So start counting now. Technically, technically, a plant hormone is a chemical substance. Technically, a plant hormone is a chemical substance other than nutrient produced naturally produced naturally in a plant which may be which may be translocated to other region which may be translocated to another region for regulating one or more physiological reaction for regulating one or more physiological reaction when present in when present in low concentration There are five type of phytohormone. First, so out of them, the first one is uh, they are called auxin. So auxin are what are they are auxin? Oxins are, they are indole compound. They are called indole compound. Indole compound. And then second one is gibberlin.
and third one is cytokine fourth one is aba abscessic acid ci si abscessic acid last but the not the least fifth one is ethyl so let's start coding down one by one like the function of plant growth the little what the function of auxin what is the function of zeberlin right so please start coding down the function of one by one for more so put the first heading auxin So let's start putting down the auxin. Uh, and what are the auxin? So auxins are auxins are. weekly acidic hormone auxins are weekly acidic hormone having unsaturated ring having unsaturated ring unsaturated ring and capable of capable of promoting capable of promoting cell elongation cell elongation especially shoot part especially shoot part at concentration of at concentration of less than less than 100 ppm at concentration of less than 100 ppm which is inhibitory to root next point among the this is a very important point among the growth regulator among the growth regulator auxin were auxin were first to discover auxin were first to discover right now uh, start the noting down the uh, function of auxin right and uh, what are the natural auxin so there are some natural auxin so what are those indole acetic acid example what are the example of auxin example of those chemicals which are auxin they are iaa iaa that is indole acetic acid Acetic acid, it is auxin, right? And uh, one more, there is a, uh, there will be IBA, indole butyric acid. IBA, indole butyric acid, right? That is uh, also uh, auxin, right? These are the natural auxin. and synthetic auxin uh, put the example of synthetic auxin that is also important for your neat examination synthetic auxin means artificial auxin which are nowadays used in agriculture right so they are basically they ask for the 24 24d 24d 
So what is the 24D? 2, 4, I, cannot see. Acetic acid, right? That is a 24D. And 2, 4, 5D. So that is the 2, 4, 5, trichlorophenoxy acetic acid. Trichlorophenoxy acetic acid. 24D and 24T, these are the artificial oxygen, right? Now the function. What is the function of oxygen? So start plotting now. Oxygen stimulate the oxygen stimulate the respiration oxygen stimulate the respiration next point they enhance the metabolic rate they enhance the Metabolic rate. Metabolic rate. Next. They are responsible for cell enlargement. They are responsible for cell enlargement. It is the it is the most fundamental it is the most fundamental function of oxygen. It is the most fundamental function of oxygen. Next. Oxygen control the oxygen controls the xylem differentiation. Isim oxygen control the xylem differentiation. Next, in tissue culture, in tissue culture, it help in Differentiation of callus. Differentiation of callus. What is the callus? So callus is the undifferentiated mass of cell. Undifferentiated mass of cell. So we use oxygen uh, in tissue culture. Right? Next. It, it is responsible for apical dominance. So what is apical dominance? The length will increase, but the lateral growth will not increase. Means plant like, what is the apical dominance? Means suppose that this is a plant. So plant growth will take space in this direction, not in this direction. So it will suppress the horizontal growth and it will increase the uh, vertical growth. That is called apical dominance, right? And next one, oxygen is responsible for responsible for female plant formation. Female plant formation, right? And It is also responsible for, it is also responsible for formation of 
सीडलेस फ्रूट सीडलेस फ्रूट वन लास्ट थिंग पुट अ नोट एंड राइट इट डाउन ऑक्सीजन एस ऑक्सीजन स्टिमुलेट ऑक्सीजन स्टिमुलेट रूट फॉर्मेशन रूट फॉर्मेशन एंड स्टेम कटिंग एंड स्टेम कटिंग स्टिमुलेट रूट फॉर्मेशन एंड स्टेम कटिंग क्लियर ऑल द पॉइंट क्लियर इफ देर इज एनी एम्बिग्यूटी प्लीज आस्क मी If you have any confusion on any of the point, any of the function, please ask. So the next hormone is zebrulin. Zeperlin, right? So this is the next hormone, phyto hormone, second phyto hormone. To so start noting down, zeperlin are also zeperlin are also weak acidic, weak acidic growth hormone. having a ring a structure having a ring structure which causes which causes cell elongation which causes cell elongation and increase the and increase the internodal length of internodal length of genetically dwarf plant next uh its discovery is very important and the question comes from the discovery actually uh, there was a farmer and the name of that farmer was uh, uh, like uh, uh, kurushawa who discovered this hormone right and it was discovered uh, there was it was discovered in japan so in japan uh, there was a disease called uh, fools seedling disease right so in rice there was a disease called fools seedling disease this fools seedling disease was caused by a fungus and the name of the fun fun fungi was gibberella gibberella fusi corai fusi so zebrelli fusi corai it was a type of fungus and that fungus causes full seedling disease in rice right and in zebrella fusi corai we have uh, like discovered uh, the zebrelli so zebrelli was discovered in zebrella fusi corai and the full uh, seedling disease of the rice right and the person who discovered the uh, disease uh, like this hormone and the person uh, who discovered this uh, hormone his name was uh, kurushawa so who discovered it it was discovered by kuru a u r o 
S A W A Urusawa. No reply. The Jibberla was Jibberlin was discovered by Urusawa. Now, this foolish seedling disease was called Bacchanet disease in uh, Japan. It was Bacchanet. Right, Bacchanet disease. The same Japanese name of the disease called Bacchanet disease. Now, start writing the function of Zipperlin. Right, what is the function of Zipperlin? So start on it is responsible for it is responsible for stem and leaf growth stem and leaf growth Next point. Giberlin increases Giberlin increases stem length and it especially induces this is very important under, underline this statement statement. It especially induces internodal growth, internodal growth in some genetically dwarf, in some genetically dwarf varieties of plant like pea and mage. So uh, the third thing is bolting. What is bolting? Do you have any idea what is bolting? Bolting, you said, sir. Bolting is that uh, increase. Uh, suppose that you know increase the internodal growth, internodal length of those plants, which are actually genetically um, like they are. They have rosset shaped structure. Let me tell you. Bolting, you know. So you must have seen the cabbage plant. So cabbage, uh, cabbage. So what is the cabbage? Cabbage is just, just, just it's a rosette shaped structure. It's a collection of leaves, right? It's just, just kind of this. If we cut down the uh, cabbage, it looks like this one, cabbage. So, but so hardly a cabbage is six inch structure, hardly. So what is the length of a cabbage plant? Hardly it's twelve inch, right? But if you will put the gibberlin, the length of this the cabbage plant, so and you know, this is the stem and the cabbage plant, it have a root like a structure. But if you will put, so this is hardly one fit or you can say 12 inch structure. So if you put the uh, this one, gibberlin, then you know what will happen? The length of cabbage will increase by five feet. Because it increases the internodal length. This is. So this is the process of bolting. Look, after the treatment of cabbage with after the treatment of cabbage with the zipperlin, what happened? So this much. It will increase its height up to five uh, five feet. That is called the bolting. Clear? Note it down. Zipperlin zipperlin causes elongation of reduced stem which is called which is called bolting it takes place in case of rosset plant like cabbage next function uh, 
Uh, so come to the next function. So can you tell me what is the dormancy? What is the dormancy? What does mean by the term dormancy? Dormancy means sleeping. Look, what is dormancy? What is dormant means sleeping? Dormancy means state of sleepingness. What is that? Suppose that, uh, for example, this is the uh, uh, this is the time when we uh, harvest the particular crop. So suppose that this is the time to uh, harvest the potato and uh, I want to uh, again grow the potato. So what I just uh, taken out the fresh potato and uh, I again uh, like saw it in a soil. Uh, how much whatever I uh, favorable condition are there, how much fertilizer I, I give it, but it is not going to be germinate. So what will happen? It will not germinate again. It is not going to get germinated. So, what is happening now? Suppose that I have cut wheat. I have cut wheat. So, what is happening now? I have cut wheat. I have cut wheat. I have cut wheat. I have cut wheat. It will keep on sleeping for a particular time period. It will keep on sleeping for a particular time period. It will keep तो चार महीने पांच महीने बाद मैं इसको दोबारा से जब इसको शो करूंगा तो तब जा करके ये जर्मिनेट करेगा तो इस टाइम तक ये सोता रहता है तो इस टाइम पीरियड को जिस टाइम पीरियड तक कोई सीड सोता रहता है उसको हम डोरमेंसी कहते हैं राइट तो नोट करेंगे जिबरलिन अब उसमें अगर मैं जिबरलिन डाल दूं तो वो उगाएगा है ना जिबरलिन ओवरकम the natural dormancy, Jibberlin overcome the natural dormancy of buds, tuber, seed, etc. Next one. It help in seed germination. It help in seed germination. Right. Next point. Along with oxen. Along with oxen. Gibberlin. Berlin controls the fruit growth, food growth and development. Fruit growth and development. Just guys, give me one second. Hold on. Hold on for a while. I'm coming. Back. Uh, next. Jibberlin. Jibberlin. Uh, promote the formation of, it promote the formation of male flower. Promote the formation of male flower plant. Right, so these were the uh, function of Zipperlin, right. Let's go through with this point. If you have any doubt, please ask. These are the factual things and you have to just understand the things and you have to cram it, nothing else. So, 
next one is cytokine cytokine start on go they are the plant growth hormone which are basic in nature which are basic in nature they are they are responsible for they are responsible for cell division they are responsible for cell division either alone either alone or in conjugation with in conjugation with oxygen in conjugation with oxygen it was discovered by skoog and coworker skoog and coworker it was discovered by skoog and coworker right and start noting down the function of uh, cytokine so what are the function so first function is it is responsible for cell division it is responsible for cell division right next it is responsible for cell elongation like oxygen it is responsible for cell elongation like oxygen next it is responsible for differentiation it is responsible for differentiation and formation of new leaves formation of new leaves comma chloroplast in leaves chloroplast in leaves right next it is responsible for it is responsible to overcome it is responsible to overcome from seed dormancy seed dormancy it is responsible for to overcome from seed dormancy next cytokinin increases resistance to cytokinin increases resistance to low and high temperature cytokinin increases resistance to low and high temperature it is responsible for parthenocarpy parthenocarpy that is 
seedless fruit seedless right so these were the function of uh, cytokinin uh, next hormone is that is ethylene for the next heading ethylene it is the gaseous hormone it is the gaseous hormone which stimulate which stimulate transverse growth which stimulate stimulate transverse growth but stimulate transverse growth but retardate but retardate longitudinal growth but retardate longitudinal growth next point it is formed almost it is formed almost in all plant part it is formed almost in plant part like root leaves flower root seed seed etc the maximum synthesis occur the maximum synthesis occur during ripening of fruit ripening of fruit hence hence they are responsible for ripening of fruit next now the function of function function of ethylene so the first one is ethylene inhibit the means to stop the inhibit the longitudinal growth longitudinal growth but stimulate horizontal growth it decreases the sensitivity of it decreases sensitivity to gravity it has ten means steep speed up it has ten the senescence that is the death it has ten the semi sense that is the death it has ten the senescence of leaf and flower leaf and flower means it is speed up the death of leaf and flower it also break the dormancy of 
dormancy of seed it also break the dormancy of it also break the dormancy of it also breaks the uh, hold on just a minute राइट सो नेक्स्ट फंक्शन होगा ब्रेक दी डोरमेंसी ऑफ सीट हाँ ब्रेक दी डोरमेंसी ऑफ सीट बर्ड्स बर्ड्स एंड ट्यूबर राइट एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज दैट it is responsible for root initiation and low concentration it is responsible for root initiation in low concentration okay to hamara ethylene tak ho gaya hai na abhi fcc kaise reh raha hai aur bahut thoda sa reh raha hai like half an hour ka hai na to लाइक like, दो चीजें रह रही है एफ सी एसिड रह रहा है और दूसरा इसमें रह रहा है कि व्हाट इज द फोटो पीरियडिज्म राइट बाकी हमारा चैप्टर भी कंप्लीट हो गया ठीक है मैथ्यू इबा राइट यस हाँ तो इतना रह रहा है बाकी हम लोगों ने ये चैप्टर कंप्लीट कर लिया तो नेक्स्ट क्लास में इतना कर लेंगे और वी हैव जस्ट कम्प्लीट दिस बाकी पढ़िएगा या यूट्यूब if in case if you have any problem let me know right sure sir all right yeah. bye bye take care sir.